It's the beginning of allergy season and sinus infections are in full swing. So how do you know the difference between allergies, infections and COVID-19? Dr. Kenneth Perry, assistant medical director at Trident Health, breaks it down. Right now, sinus infection, it's really difficult, right? So you can have allergies or other viruses causing lots of inflammation in your sinuses. But the one thing we're looking for is that cough and fever and just otherwise just there's something not right about the presentation. The allergies that we're seeing here in the low country with the nasal congestion, sinus infection, it doesn't seem like that's presenting similar to coronavirus. The nasal congestion, the rhinorrhea, which is the running nose, these are things that seem to be specific to allergies. They can sometimes happen and some people have them with flu, but they're far less in coronavirus. There seems to be a very deep, lower respiratory infection-like presentation to coronavirus, where anyone who's lived in the low country long enough and has gone through enough of the pollen seasons knows it's really a scratchy throat, upper, upper airway thing that can sometimes go away by the next day. It seems to be a deep cough that also is associated with some shortness of breath. So people will try to work their normal, their normal work day or they'll try to walk up a flight of stairs and they're winded. And there's also this really deep cough associated with it. That's what we're seeing from the data that's coming out. We're looking for anything over 100.4 Fahrenheit or 38 Celsius. But the average, we don't really know. Some people are at the 101, 102 range, and that's why it's really difficult for us to determine the difference between this and flu without getting some of the tests done. So we'll, if you come in and you have a 102, 103 temperature, we'll definitely run a flu swab. And we have seen a number of patients who actually have flu at this point, which is certainly confusing and even harder to, to, to tell the difference between flu and coronavirus. If you're short of breath, if you have chest pain with this cough, that's when we would say you really need to start getting the in conversation going with your doctor, either to your doctor's office or possibly to the emergency department. If, however, you don't have symptoms that require admission at this point, it's really not something that we're going to get a swab just to rule out COVID for you, unfortunately. We just don't have the capabilities at this moment. That's fluid, that's changing, but that's how it stands right now.